Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today is a beautiful Friday in early spring. We thought that a day like today would be the perfect opportunity to show you how enjoyable it is to be connected to beautiful, busy cities in Italy while still living in a quiet, small village like we do. So, we woke up today and thought, since the weather will be nice today, why don't we visit Teramo in Abruzzo? There are so many choices for day trips in Italy that it is kind of difficult to choose where to go. But we have been wanting to go to Teramo for quite a while since we haven't been there before and also because it's one of the bigger cities in Abruzzo. Teramo is in the north of Abruzzo, very close to the border of another region called Le Marche. It should take us just over two hours to get there. The idea is to enjoy the drive, walk around the city, have lunch and later have something else. Then come back when we feel like it's time to come back. We'll play it by ear. We found a car park on the outskirts of town on the top of a hilly area and from here we will walk to the historical center. We prefer to do this and avoid driving inadvertently into the limited traffic zones and get a fine. If you would like to have more information about the ZTL areas, I will link a video on the description. Teramo has a large expat population, and since we have been asked this question many, many times, perhaps Teramo should be on your list if this is important for you when making a decision on where to live in Italy. That's it! Zona Trafico Limitato. That's what you want to avoid. Teramo is just over two hours from Rome, under one hour from Pescara, and about 30 minutes from the beach.
As I mentioned before, we arrived at midday, so there wasn't much activity and the shops were closed. It didn't really matter to us because our plan was to come here for lunch. I will advise though that you arrive earlier, as if you get here too late, you will have to wait until 4 or 5 p.m. for the shops to open again. As we walked around, we saw many young people. Teramo has a university with over 5,000 students. Università degli Studi di Teramo. Having a university can bring a lot of life to a place. I can hear food. Full can be heard the happiness of someone cooking in the kitchen, the chatting of people having a good time, and here we are. take this opportunity to ask you to please like comment and subscribe that way the YouTube algorithm will, will know that you like our videos that you are enjoying our channel and it will definitely help us get more noticed and bring more people to this beautiful community that us together are building we have the thermosifone on
I was gonna follow him. <laughs> You probably won't be able to put the thing on yours. No, I don't want to <laughs> Nice. I prefer mine. You do? Can I take it? How is it? Bona. Si. Our lunch was delicious. If you're ever in Teramo, come here. In the historical center. That's the thing with these things. If you enjoy our content, please consider supporting us on Patreon. I will leave the link on the description. Look at this. It has a terrace up there. Look at that color, and it has a terrace. Look, I know. It's 150 meters squared. I wonder if it's like uh, and upstairs as well. Maybe it's just. It might not be upstairs because I think it's a dog home from there. So maybe it's not. I don't know. Look at that pink. No, Did you order? Did you order? I 
think they were laughing because they didn't understand what we were saying. why after fighting against um, siesta time where they close from one to four and I was so reluctant to having a nap myself and resting after lunch then I realized it's great to have that time because of the because you go home after being tired from working in the morning and then you have a nice lunch a big lunch you rest and after 5 p.m you go back to work and things are still open so rather than um rather than everyone working for the whole day until 5 p.m and just wanting to go home and the streets become a ghost town this is what happens when people rest in between. They get, what do you call it? A uh, second, second wind? Second wind. Second wind. And in Italy, a third, <laughs> no, fourth wind. Because they're always up for doing something fun. And this is what you have. It's 6.30 p.m. It's not that warm, actually. We're supposed to be in spring, but it's quite cool. And this is what you have. This is Teramo. Thank you so much to our Patreons for their generosity. We hope that you have been enjoying our weekly Patreon-only videos, which are more raw and personal. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope that you enjoyed it. As always, please let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Ciao!